Our next report uh, that we can look at here is Lifecycle. Now, Lifecycle contains a little bit of philosophy that uh, Amstu has come up with and they're, uh, they're standing by. And this is a philosophy on how organized users. Uh, so they wrote uh, a playbook uh, where they talk about how you can categorize users when it comes to retention, let's say. Uh, so they came up with these categories here uh, where they have uh, new, resurrected, dormant, uh, and current. Uh, the way the way these categories work is new is, of course, any user that's just signed up for the product. Um, current is any user that's, that has fire active events. Once again, you can define what that active idea means. Uh, resurrected means that the user wasn't active on the previous uh, date range, but now they are. Now the date range can, can change, right? In this case, we're looking at a usage interval of seven days. So it's every seven days we, we look at this, this new groups of users. Uh, so if a user was uh, dormant uh, on, a, on a previous one, on the, on the previous seven days, but now they're active, they'll, they'll be called resurrected, right? So you, you kind of want the users back, that kind of idea. So here we have dormant, resurrected, current, and then new. And then what you can start to see is how things change over time, right? So in this case, we have last 30 days with a usage interval of seven days, uh, if, that, if that seems to make sense, right? Uh, so if you add here, we can actually perhaps just take actually any active event. So we start to better analyze active users, right? And how those counts change uh, over time, over this, uh, this interval. Now the, the actual playbook here will actually be quite helpful because there's, there's an entire uh, methodology here on how to use this, this report. Uh, but this report starts to give you some, uh, some structure on how, how to analyze users. Instead of looking at, here are my active users, here are the new ones, you can see how things are changing over time. You can see how well you are again, you just come back when they become dormant, when they stop using the product and so on. Right? And we have a lot of flexibility here uh, in terms of how we analyze this. Uh, just like before, we have the counts here that we can look at uh, for the, the day range that we selected. Now we, we have a few other things here. Uh, specifically, uh, we can look at dormant uh, broken down, right? So I mean, you know, how many, how many new dormant users you had uh, that, that weren't there, right? Maybe they were, they were active before, or maybe they were new before, but now they're dormant. Uh, how many dormant current users you have? And then how many dormant resurrected users, right? So how many dormant users you were able to, to take back and make them active, right? So you get a sense. Uh, the other cool thing is actually this idea called polls. And polls is a, it's a formula that uh, Amplitude here is calculating where they take uh, the number of new users and resurrected users, because those are the ones you, you want, and then um, they divide them by the number of uh, uh, dormant users, or uh, the, these new dormant users specifically. Uh, in this sense, you, you get a number here. You can see the number, you know, uh, from 1.31 or something. And the number, what, what the number effectively tells you, in, in, in simple terms, is anything under under one uh, means you're you're losing more users than you actually get them, even when you take into account any new users. And any number over over one means you're you're gaining more users than you lose it, right? So we're trying to get a sense of uh, maybe stickiness of uh, product usage and a few other things in this simple, uh, handy one metric that then Amplitude can, can track here over time and then we can see it broken out uh, in this line chart. So this is all about life cycle. Again, the playbook, uh, the retention playbook will explain the methodology in much more detail. Uh, but once you understand it, it can become a way to, uh, to understand uh, your product and users and how they're changing over time, going from active to dormant to coming back to being resurrected and so on. Uh, it's, it becomes a lot, more, a lot more nuanced than just uh, some of the more simplified ways that companies can typically look at users.